In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you the very basic steps to create a simple movie. We're not going to use any of the bells and whistles now. This will be a very fundamental way to do it. So now I'm in the media room with this uh, chosen in my upper left corner, and this is my library. Right now it's empty, so I'm going to pull in an original movie file. I'll right click on it and click import. And then with this selected, what I'm going to do is move to my Lake One folder or image and click open and I'll bring that movie in. You notice it pops up at the preview window. Now before I drag my movie and put it on my timeline, I want to bring a title in there. So I'm going to click on the T for title room and this display will now show the contents of my title room. I'm going to give myself more room here. And I'm going to take uh, this one here, and if I click on it, I see how it will work. And I will take this pre-designed title and drag it down. Right now, I'll just leave it in track one and let go. And if I hold my mouse over it, it tells me it starts at zero, ends at 10, and so it's 10 seconds long. Now, if I want to see this timing in more detail, I can move the mouse up. You see it changes into a clock with a double-headed arrow. If I hold the left mouse button down and drag and drag right, it expands it. Likewise, if I do left, it contracts it. So if you want to see, see your time in more detail, that's an easy way to do that. So I have this area here, which has my title. If I want to see what it looks like in my actual movie, I click on Movie. I'll show you why I did that in a moment. And then just click the right arrow and it will play that 10 second title. We'll show you later how to edit it, how to crop it, how to do all kinds of things with it. So now I have a title. I'll click back here to the upper left corner to my media room and I will bring in my little 15 second movie. I'll take it and drag it, move it down. And when you see the blue line, it tells you the, the two items are next to each other. They're not overlapping and let go. Now I have my movie. And just for a little bit of uh, repetitive sake, I'm going to click on the title room again. And we'll um, move down here and look for another one. Here's ending credits. I will click on it and you'll see what you have. We have these scrolling credits that we'll, we can put up here. I will click and drag and let go. And now I have my ending credits in my mini movie. We'll show you later how to put transitions between these sections, how to add music, all that kind of stuff. But right now we're making it very simple. So I have a starting title, I have my movie, and I have my ending. So let's say I want to produce my movie now. So the best thing that I recommend before you ever produce is click on File and do Save Project, where you can hit the Control S key on your keyboard, because this is not a time when you want it to, to crash. You don't want to lose all the work you've put into it so far. But then when you're ready to actually produce it, and I'll be producing a file on my computer, you click on Produce, and it gives you some options on how you're going to produce. We won't deal with all the details of those right now, uh, because we're just looking for simple. But you have different output times, styles, and then you can customize those. Um, I'm going to click on Windows Media, and I'll click on something that's decent resolution. Let's do uh, 1280 by 720 at um, 6 uh, megabits per second. I'll click on that. That's my format. And then it, the, it tells me where should I put the movie on my system it's in the file folder called display files the default name for the movie is produce um, or produce however you want to say it and I will just call this X Y Z one two three so I can see it very clearly that will be the name of my file and then when you're ready you click start and it will render your video. Now this will vary with the, the settings you put into CyberLink will vary with your processor speed, your memory and other hardware issues. 
but it doesn't take too long to do this. It will it will count uh, up on the number of seconds. You also see a uh, a uh, percentage over here. It will give you the amount of time. It will give you the amount of space on the, the data on media in which you are storing it. So you have all these information, all this, these pieces of information available while it's rendering. And when it's done rendering, as it will be in a moment, it will pop you back and suggest you go back to the edit page. Now I can do that, and what it does, it actually pulls in a full copy of your edited video here into your library. I'm going to pause the video for a second and then um, I'll show you the actual product. I overlay the video and now we'll play it. My opening uh, title comes in called Cyberlink Power Director and again I'll show you later how to edit that and then it moves right into the video which is a, uh, a shot of a surprisingly nice uh, day in my part of the United States at this time of year. Normally that would still be all ice. And then at the end, it comes up with my closing information. And so it's uh, taken all three components and put them together into a single video. We'll show you a lot more about what you can do to go from basic to exciting in the next lessons.